providing water. It's just one of the many responsibilities that the city of Corpus Christi takes on for the folks who call this warm, sunny, South Texas city home. And as residents know that comforting sun they appreciate while enjoying a day at the beach can also bring on sweltering heat that leads to dreaded drought conditions. And with drought conditions come water restrictions. In 2011 to 20. 13, this area of uh, South Texas was highly influenced by a drought. That's why council members this summer decided to move forward with the City of Corpus Christi desalination project. All in favor say aye. aye. All opposed. A decision that could bring a drought-proof water supply to residents and the surrounding community. And because we're surrounded by the ocean, it just makes sense. We will study our review site location permitting of a potential seawater desalination plant. The city is looking to build a plant that can produce 11 million gallons per day to about 22 million gallons per day. A desalination plant removes the minerals like salt and sand from water and makes it safe for human consumption. Ramos, along with a team of consultants from Freeze and Nichols, an engineering firm, plan on spending the next two years researching the possibility of building a desalination plant right here in South Texas. Water produced by the plant will add to the city's existing water supply and help meet future water demands. Right now, the city has four major water sources, Choke Canyon, Lake Corpus Christi, Lake Texana, and the Colorado River. All these sources are surface water sources, so they're, they're dependent upon inflows and rainfall throughout the year to meet our demands. The potential desalination plant wouldn't connect to those fresh water inflows, and because the source is the ocean, the city can provide a dependable water source that can be integrated into our system. But making science fiction a reality is easier said than done. It's more than just uh, taking water out of the sea and then just uh, filtering it through a reverse osmosis. You have to make sure that you protect the system. Right now, Ramos says they're looking at multiple sites in the Corpus Christi and La Quinta ship channel. The team needs to see if those locations meet their objectives and if they can get the water rights and TCEQ discharge permits. You see, with water desalination comes waste or effluent. So we would work with the state to obtain those special authorizations so that we can continue to uh, discharge our seawater, our, our, our effluent into the bay. In this project, we'll make those needed determinations and do the proper science so that we can obtain those permits. One popular technique, adding a diffuser to the end of the discharge line. This allows the effluent to mix properly with the seawater. If all goes well, the city of Corpus Christi could have a saltwater desalination system by 2026. And we have to be prepared from a water resource point of view to provide that water to our customers. It's just one of the ways the city plans for future needs and strives to improve water quality, customer satisfaction, and productivity. We'll keep you updated in the future as the project moves forward.